Like, it sounds like we're just like ditching it in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is like practicing for Ma uh, Marilyn. Marilyn. That'd be you. Shoot. I don't know why I just struggled to get up here because the lights are still on and there's a lot of stuff on the end of my bed. So today it's actually like 11.30 I think on Saturday at in the middle of the night because today was actually a pretty good day I'd say. Well I laid on the couch and watched TV all day pretty much because Zeus and I are having a rest day. Well she had to go to do blood work and then to the pharmacy and then she went to Graham's house because they live by the pharmacy and then she came home and then she just watched TV with me pretty much all afternoon and took a nap and all those things and I just don't feel so great like you can probably tell right now I am in major pain hallucination land. It just kind of makes me feel like, I don't know. I know I'm in a lot of pain, but I can't really feel much of it, which is really weird. And my whole body feels all tingly and it's weird. And I somewhat prefer this state, even though I can't really think very well in it to being in the amount of pain that I would be feeling if I was not like this, which sometimes that does happen, where it just gets higher and higher and higher and I never reach pain hallucination land, I just get in a ton of pain. And then that's when we end up with pain meltdowns and crying and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's still undecided if I'm going to go with them to Zeus's appointments in the beginning of next week, which is tomorrow, Sunday, and then a Monday and Tuesday, they're going to Stanford for some appointments and testing and those kinds of things. I think Sharon's going with them, so I might join them and just, you know, hang out. It's, um, or I might stay home with Nolan. Like, it sounds like we're just, like, ditching him, but... Taylor and Scott will be in town, and Graham, and Grandma and Grandpa, and all of them will still be in town, and Grampy, and now I'm just listing off people. <laughs> oh, I'm tired, and feel like a truck is sitting on my head, and my head has been feeling like extra bobbly I call it my bowling ball head because it's super heavy and the muscles in my neck are actually pretty strong that's how I broke nine collars because my head is heavy and the muscles in my neck are actually really strong still it's just I have no like, limit to the range of motion in my neck Besides my vision blacking out and feeling like I'm going to throw up and like choke all at the same time. Um, I don't think I have anything else to update on tonight. Tomorrow, I said I'll go with Zeus to our classroom, so I'll take you guys with us. Hopefully when I wake up tomorrow because I feel okay right now, but Hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, I don't feel like my insides are ripping apart Maybe yeah. hello vlog <laughs> I'm in the VIP chair again and we're at Zeus's classroom to because tomorrow and Tuesday she's has Stanford appointments, so we're here now. A <laughs> I think that's it. I'm going to be doing the laminator, so it's about to smell like melting plastic in here. We were going to go to, to the grocery store and get more ice cream because I've still been avoiding chewing on Flappy because it just 
hurts when I chew on Flappy, but now I think I should just start chewing on him and hopefully that doesn't peel the rest of the gums that have started to create their connective tissue to my tooth again. Uh, why don't you chew on the other side off? or soak it? Wait because soft. I can't chew on the other side, Liddy. Oh. <laughs> because my tongue Liddy. doesn't go that way. That's why if Flappy was on the other side, we would not have a problem with me picking at it because then I can't chew on that side anyways and my tongue can't reach over on that side anyways. But now we're going to Trader Joe's so that we can get cookies. Deuce got Panda for dinner and whenever people open up um, fortune cookies, you probably hear her crunching it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very mature and I say in the bathroom after <laughs> a fortune because I think it's funny. This one says, your biggest achievement lies in helping others first in the bathroom. <laughs> I want to open the other one. Well, do it over a napkin so you don't make a mess. Well, she and my dad, she didn't order so much panda that they gave her two cookies. Oh, he can't have cookies. Well, I'm not supposed to have cookies either. This one says, if, you, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough in the, the bath. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love my mature sense of humor? Yeah. Yes, bathroom jokes are still funny. Steve vlogging. At Stanford New Hospital, I think, for Zeus's appointment, and I forgot to vlog on our way here because I was so tired and kind of grumpy. <laughs> so, <laughs> how was that? That was different. I told her that an MRI is funny. <laughs> well, you have to lay on your stomach, and there's like this bar that goes down in your stomach to your sternum. And then you lay on your face like that, and then the twins just hang out. <laughs> Cause my friend's grandma had this done, and apparently it was she. Her story of telling it was hilarious. So, and now we're going to lunch at Wahlburgers. At Wahlburgers, I think we went there when. We were here for my flexion, extension, MRIs, and all that stuff when Taylor was here. We've I been think. there once. Yeah. I think that's when we went there. Yeah. Well, we're I going there again. <laughs> There's you. Look, we have straws. Wait. Turtle killer. <laughs> and the menu. We're in Wahlburgers, by the way. Um, there it is. She's having a porto bello salmon that I don't know what my dad's having, but we. <laughs> Salad. Salad. Burger and sandwich. Fry. <laughs> Look, that's where my first vlog was filmed with Taylor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired. Because <laughs> I haven't done anything. I just stroll around in the wobbly and they push me and she's been doing all those testing thing of ops and now we're going to the hotel and then Sharon will be joining us either tonight or tomorrow morning don't mind me awkwardly vlogging your food while well, there's my food and there's my food Zeus got spaghetti and meatballs those are the biggest meatballs I've ever seen in my life and then calamari and salad and a meatball. <laughs> Zeus says that the meatballs are delicious. I almost ate a whole one. <laughs> and look at this. Spaghetti. It looks like the middle of the day on the camera. Yeah, it does on the camera. Yeah, it looks so bright, but it's not. It's cold here. And it's cold. And Windy. Zeus was saying on our way to the restaurant that this is like practicing for 
What? Ma uh, Maryland, Maryland. Because pushing, walking, riding, <laughs> being pushed, and we. What is that rat attack? I don't even know. Well. Uh, oh, wait. Closing the door. Good morning, Wong. Good morning, Wong. I still have to um, get your backpack. Oh. <laughs> we ditched my backpack out there, I think. And um, my dad's checking out of the hotel, and then we are going to, I think, oh, one of the buildings we were at yesterday to see her doctors and whoever's and then they will tell us when her surgery will be and or then she will schedule for when her surgery will be and then they will tell her how much radiation and chemo and they're doing radiation and or chemo before she goes to it's it's actually not even on that because it's and how to get to the parking so Bye. we're done with the first appointment <laughs> and I was an sitting hour. in the lobby yeah. and all these people I was sitting right next to the coffee machine so all these people kept staring at me like what the heck and then this one lady kept coughing super loud and I was oh. like uh <laughs> about what the Some good lady news is coughing. Dr. Blaney said I could, or somebody said that I could um, work as long as it'll tolerate, so I'm gonna go on intermittent leave. Mm -hmm. And now he's 15 minutes behind schedule because of. No, he was 15 minutes behind schedule when we were in there. Did it say that on the machine though? No, it said that he was 15 minutes behind schedule since 11.04. That'd be you. Hello, fam. We're those people, yes, all on electronic devices. And we're at the restaurant. We're at, let's see if it'll focus, Maggiano's. There it is. And Zeus's appointment was funny. <laughs> And, we don't need to go into detail. and it's like Grey's Anatomy because yes. her doctors are married to each other. Furthermore, it's very common to walk around top of I'm just sent you this. <laughs> and I'm going to oh, try to talk to you and not be awkward, but let's be honest, it's going to be awkward. <laughs> and then when we got here, they were like, are you celebrating anything? And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> And then he started going down this speech <laughs> about, I don't know, I guess he assumed that I was the sicko here, but um, that'd be you. <laughs> My picture. Da, 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 da. That's about how much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's about how much ice cream I eat at a time. <laughs> That's true. And then Charon's giant creme brulee. Hello vlog. We are in. Oh my gosh, it's the middle of the night. Not the actual middle of the night, like midnight. I think it's nine o'clock. So yeah, pretty much the middle of the night. And there's Charon and Zeus. That's the. That's their car. They're meeting us at the Wendy's at the truck stop, which is where we are, so that Zeus can get in our car and so that we all end up at the right houses. Otherwise, how is Zeus going to get from Charon's house to our house? Because you take a different oh, freeway to get there. Even though we don't live that far apart, but still. Anyways. Um, what else were things that I thought of that I needed to tell you but I can't remember right now. I pro I'll think of them tomorrow when I have this thing called energy and I've done sleeping. Good morning everyone. It's not the morning and today after we came home yesterday I was just tired. Really tired when we got home so I don't think I talked to you. I don't remember but um the things that I was trying to remember to say, but I didn't yesterday, 
or I, at least I don't remember remembering to say them yesterday, was that, um, first off, Zeus's doctors are like, um, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> her plastic surgeon is married to a radiation oncologist, but her plastic surgeon said that all of all of his years being a doctor, he had never heard of EDS except for this month. He heard of it twice, because somehow it got into the conversation of my. I don't know how my bod always ends up in everybody's conversation. That didn't go into the back into the appointments with them, but um. But then we were saying on the way home, like having him have heard of it twice this month that's a lot more than what when most doctors and then also of uh, the doctors at Stanford when when we first started this whole journey of my bod and the, all the things that it puts us through like seven years ago I think that's when we first started all this or maybe we started for the first time like nine years ago and then started again seven years ago and then were shoved off the cliff into all of this three years ago this month in fact um but I guess a very long rambly way of saying I <laughs> I guess my family's um, goal of life, I guess, <laughs> is that we are spreading awareness by just telling everyone and anyone who would listen, which really, they always laugh because I just start talking and whether anybody is listening or not, I'll just keep talking. So at least when I'm talking to you, there's somebody listening, kind of, or I assume that there's somebody listening. <laughs> Unless you're like me and you watch YouTube videos on mute sometimes. Um, and the last thing. Oh, when I was whispering and talking really quickly at the restaurant, we were, <laughs> I guess people don't go to Maggiano's unless they're celebrating something or I don't really know. We just, we've only gone there twice at least whatever anyways like we've gone there twice and the first time was before we went to Taylor Swift concert and then this other time was yesterday and so they asked right when we get there oh are you guys celebrating anything and I was like not celebrating for her like no and then so he was like oh are you guys celebrating um you finally going home and I was like, uh, I mean, no. <laughs> and then he started on this, I don't know where this monologue slash speech was going, but he was saying how everyone's so happy and blah, 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 and something, something. I was just very confused and the whole time I was looking at Zeus like, okay and like he he was he could definitely see my face and then Zeus and Sharon were the most like had their backs to him and they were looking at me like what the heck and then I was like is that because you know visibly I look a little usually because last night I was really tired so like when I look at you when I'm really tired I don't know if you guys can tell so much but you can really tell in person that I don't really look all there when I'm really tired in my eyes and then neck brace and then wobbly the wheelchair and then we had my purple blanket I mean my zebra blanket on me and you know all the neocade and I brought in my container of cookies on my lap because you know I don't really eat restaurant food because um I don't really feel like being really sick <laughs> or going through having my insides feel like they're being ripped apart because 
certain things just don't work out so well in my bod and things get stuck and then I feel like I'm being ripped apart or like I swallowed a bottle brush which is those like pokey brushes and it is scraping along my insides and the fam shouldn't be home until like 6 tonight because my dad had in an eye appointment and then in his infusion today and but the, he had to get his eyes dilated so then Taylor dropped him off at infusion so anyways the entire fam's not coming home till late because Nolan never comes home early and Zeus has to pick him up at infusion and go get his car with him and she got she's having one of her friends take her to her pet scan and nope her echo and possibly pet scan next week so I probably won't end up going with her because that's the same day that I was supposed to go back to see the oral surgeon but like I can't tell if Flappy's getting shorter or not I just Flappy which is now like a tentacle I swear if we cut it off at the the size it is now it wouldn't hurt and or bleed possibly might bleed but I don't think it would hurt at all but we're letting it be for another week until exactly one week is today nope six more days and if it's still there in six days then I will go to that appointment if not we'll just cancel it Like when I pick it floppy, I can't really tell if it's getting smaller or staying the same, but who don't know. And I'm still wearing my pajamas. Yay me.